Alright, so this is going to be the Final Reich Ultimate Casual Easter Egg Tutorial with the best possible tips and tricks out there for you guys to make sure you complete the Easter Egg as quickly and efficiently as possible. So definitely, if the video does help you out, make sure you drop it a thumbs up, make sure you're subscribed, and I will jump right into the video. Alright, so coming in at step number one is to actually edit your loadouts and consumables. Now, this isn't obviously a step of the Easter Egg, but if you go ahead and do this before you even jump into your game, it's going to be a huge, huge part of actually completing this Easter Egg. So just trust me and edit your loadouts and consumables and try to throw on exactly what I tell you. The first thing you're going to want to go and do is change your starting slash primary weapon to the 1911 as it will be used throughout your entire game and eventually pack a punch. Next, change your specialist ability to camouflage. This way you have an amazing insurance policy when doing steps in very constricted spaces. After that, edit your mods to fit your game. I recommend pack mule because it gives you the ability to hold three weapons at all times regardless of whether or not you down resourceful because it's always good to have as many chances as you can at getting a max ammo or double points and finally armored up because you spawn it with armor on you already if you feel inclined to replace any of these mods maybe armor then go ahead and do that but i honestly don't recommend you do it but like i said if you really do want to replace one of them make sure it's armored up and not any of the other ones finally as for the consumables max ammo and full specialist bar are the two best ones you can throw on keep note that you don't need to put these on but they could definitely help you in some situations all right so now step two of the easter egg is to just hold extra square on the three gas valves located around the map side note when doing this i highly recommend you buy the thompson slash m1928 off the wall as it does both a really good job of killing zombies and getting you a lot of points which is obviously very important once finished with the valves activate the control control panel right in front of the armor machine in the middle of the map, jump in the hole and run straight back up toward the outside. Make a U-turn and now sitting in front of you will be a red light. Press square on that light and go ahead and activate it to turn it green. The gate in back of you will open up and you'll find your way back to the center of the map. To finish turning on power, open up the bunker door which you recently turned on by activating the switch in the hole. After entering the bunker you'll notice that there are three doors. The one in the middle which is the salt mine doors requires power and in order to get that power we have to activate two power switches on each side of the map. Very simply, make sure you have enough points to open up both doors on the left and right side of the salt mine door and then when you do, open up the first door, follow the pathing and press square to activate the first power box. Next, run right back out of the bunker and and open up the door on the opposing side of the one you just opened, following the pathing once more, and activate the second power box to complete turning on power. Alright, so now step three of the Easter egg is to go ahead and open up pack a bunch and focus on getting perks. This way you don't have to worry about it later on. You don't have to do it now, but just keep in mind that having this stuff earlier will make it easier for you later on. So I'd highly recommend you just get it out of the way as early as possible in your game. The perks I recommend you get are Lemon Blitz, which is quick revive and it's located in spawn, Lawfin Blitz, which is stamina up and it's located in the tunnel slash hole you jumped into initially to turn on power, Kugel Blitz, which is double tap and it's located in the Hub, and finally, Schnell Blitz, which is Speed Cola and located in the laboratory. Also, don't forget to always check your armor and make sure that you have it full at all times. This way, you don't die unnecessarily in a very bad situation. Alright, so step 4 of the Easter egg is to interact with the crank in front of the salt mine doors in the center of the bunker. Step 5 is to open up the salt mine door, run straight down into the Emperor's room, and activate the machine right in front of Barbarossa's statue. Collect souls inside of the red circle. Once complete, the room will shine red and the transfer device will rise into the ceiling. Now step six is to just run straight back up the stairs into the command room and press square on the red button in front of this table. This is where you build the Tesla gun later on. This will cause the transfer device to move around the map inside of the bunker with a circle on the floor. Wherever the circle stops, stop with it and collect zombie souls until it continues on its path once again. Eventually, it will make its way over to a machine in which it starts a special process and at this time, you can actually leave the area temporarily. Step seven, pick up the Tesla gun piece from the machine and proceed to follow the transfer device to the other side of the map. This is just basically the same process as before, but just in a more constrained area of the map. Also note that as I'm waiting for the Tesla gun piece to craft after doing the first set of souls, I usually go and buy the SCG-44 off the wall in the projector room. This gun is probably the best wall weapon in the map, and I use it for the entirety of the Easter egg because although it's not the best gun in the map, it definitely does a great job and saves you time, and it's just very efficient to go and grab it because it's so powerful for just a wall weapon. Now, since you have the Mule Kick mod on you, all you have to do is buy it, and then it'll be your third weapon. Very shortly, the M1928 will be transferred out for the Tesla gun, making your three weapons the 1911, Tesla Gun, and STG-44. Alright, so now step 8 is to pick up the final Tesla Gun piece after completing the transfer device souls on this side of the map and run back to the command room. Here you'll be greeted by a Brenner slash flamethrower zombie that has a lot of health and does a lot of damage to you as well, so be very careful. A great trick to killing him a lot faster is to just simply aim a little higher than his head and shoot the gasoline tank on his back. Once that pops, he's pretty much dead. So proceed to kill him off with the 1911 if you have a pack a bunch and if you don't have a pack a bunch yet, then just use the STG-44 as you see I did in my game. Once he's dead, he will drop his head make sure to keep note of where the head is because it will be used later on for the final step of the easter egg all right so now moving on to step nine of the easter egg is to just simply craft the tesla gun run up to the table right in back of the button you pressed before and hold square to craft the gun 
Make sure you trade out the M1928. If it gives you any problems at all, then make sure you've picked up both pieces of the Tesla gun from both sides of the map and that the transfer device has returned back to the center of the map. Once all three of those things are checked out, you'll be able to craft the Tesla gun in which I recommend you upgrade to the Midnight variant as it's really good and it's very, very easy to do. At this point in time, activate the right hand of God and proceed to the next step. Alright, so now step 10 of the Easter egg is to just activate the power grid right behind the table you built the Tesla gun at. Keep track of the numbers and the colors that correlate to that number. In my game, one was green, two and three were red, and finally four was blue. These numbers represent the four numbered power boxes around the map with a dial on each of them that can be turned to represent either red green or blue there's one box right next to the activation button one in the sewers one in the hallway leading out of the sewers and one in the pub if you follow the pathing in my game it will bring you to the power boxes in order so all you have to remember is the sequence of colors as you can see i run up to each box change it to the right color one being put to green two and three being put to red and finally four being put to blue once this is done the step is complete and a protection step will be next at this point in time i highly recommend you go to the box and get jack in the boxes as this will make the two protections a whole lot easier and it's pretty much necessary because without them it's almost impossible to do the step in solo even if it does take you a while to get the jack in the boxes it's fine just work on upgrading your tesla gun in the meantime also you're going to want to pack a bunch of 1911 at this time as it will help out significantly and the scg 44 even if that's pack a bunch will not help nearly as much as the 1911 and you'll see why here in a second Alright, so coming in at step number 11 is that once you've acquired Jack in the Boxes, pack a bunch at least your 1911 and have sufficient ammo, run your way back to the fourth power box that you were at before and continue straight down the pathway to the tower area. Here, you will activate the middle power switch and have to protect it from the zombies. This is where the 1911 and the Jack in the Boxes are a lifesaver. Simply use the Jack in the Boxes and STG until you run out of Jack in the Boxes in your inventory and things get hectic. Once it starts getting wild, pull out the upgraded 1911 and easily clear out the area. Keep in mind that you're also protecting the central switch you just flipped as well, so if you're surviving that's great, but make sure the zombies don't wreck the switch you're protecting either. Also, don't forget if you get red screen or just in a very bad situation, you do have that beautiful camouflage ability at your side so you can activate it whenever needed. Once the first protection is done, proceed to get a max ammo. If it's about to be a round that will be a multiple of 5, for example if you're currently on round 19 and the next round is going to be 20, then skip to the next round, get your max ammo and come back. Also, you could also use your consumables to spawn in a max ammo for yourself. If you have that option available. Alright, so now step 12 is to do the same type of protection you just did, but this one will be longer and have two switches to defend instead of one. Just flip the two switches on the sides of the central one you just protected and go through the same process as before, utilizing your Jack in the Boxes 1911 Tesla gun and camouflage ability. Once complete, you're ready to move on to the next step. Alright, so now step 13 of the Easter egg is to run down the stairs into the Emperor's room, activate the left hand of God, and make your way to the outside middle area of the map, right outside of spawn. Basically, during this step, we have to obtain three batteries and return them to the left hand of God to power it on completely. Step 14 look above the sky and you'll see a zeppelin slash blimp flying around in the sky with six lights occasionally revealing themselves to you put your focus on one area slash light and once you see it glow shoot it with your weapon and try and destroy it you'll notice as you damage it more and more it will decrease in health and show this through its redder color the upgraded 1911 wrecks the light so i'd highly recommend you use that but if you don't want to waste any ammo then go ahead and use the scg 44 as it still works really nicely just a little bit slower all right so now step 15 is to charge the generators that fall from destroying the light upon completely destroying one of the lights on the zeppelin a generator will fall and you'll have to kill zombies around it collecting souls to charge it up once complete the generator will blow up and a battery will be in its place step 16 take that battery down the stairs to the emperor's room and insert it into the left hand of god be extremely cautious as when you are holding the battery you run insanely slow with it using your camo ability and or saving one zombie at the end of the round hugely helps with this step basically you just have to rinse and repeat this step two more times destroying a light charging the generator and then bringing the battery it drops down to the emperor's room keep in mind if you go back outside and the zeppelin is not there you will have to go to the next round for it to spawn back in another thing to note is that the third time you destroy a light you'll notice the generator gets sucked back up just as a troll proceed to shoot down another generator charge it up bring the battery downstairs and you're good to go all right so step 17 after placing down all three batteries activate the left hand of god bring power to both hands and the hilt leaving only the middle device to be charged before the boss fight step 18 find the brenner slash flamethrower zombie's head pick it up and run around the map to the four locations you'll see on screen each of these locations the sewer the pub the courtyard and the morgue will be holding a painting for you with a special code when arriving in each painting simply hold your aim down sights button shining a purple light onto it from the head Note the direction of the bird and the Roman numeral associated with it. For example, you see in my game, the painting in the sewers had a raven facing toward me with the Roman numeral 5, so I'll remember toward 5. The one in the morgue area gives me a raven facing up and the number 2, so I'll remember up 2. The next painting right in front of the stairs in the pub will give me the raven facing to the right and the Roman numeral 1, so I'll remember right 1. And finally, the painting in the courtyard has the bird facing to the left and the Roman numeral 3, so I'll remember left 3. Step 19, knowing the symbol and Roman numeral combination, go back downstairs to the emperor's room. Once there, walk up to the device in the center of the room and what you just have to simply put in the codes you received from the paintings. For example, in my game I had right one, so I changed the number of the symbol with the raven facing to the right to the number one and proceeded to do the same with each symbol respectively. Once complete, press the right button at the front of the device and you will now have activated the voice 
of God if done correctly. The boss fight is now ready for you, just make sure you're completely set with all your perks, good ammo, and an upgraded Tesla gun. Also note, if you need ammo, run straight up to the pack lunch machine and buy it for 4,000 points in any weapon that's not a Tesla gun. Alright, so now step 21 is that once you're ready to enter the boss fight, all you have to do is shoot the hilt in front of Barbarossa's statue with a Tesla gun. When prompted, press square on the device you just shot. This will load a cutscene and bring you into the Panzer Mortar boss fight. Step 22. This easter egg is extremely similar to one of the easter eggs that you did before. Damage a light on the zeppelin in the sky, know where the generator from the broken light dropped, and collect souls around it. Once complete, a battery will be in the generator spot. Be cautious when collecting souls and make sure to constantly keep moving around the map as the panzer mortar could significantly damage you if he gets a good enough hit. Take advantage of those jack in the boxes you retrieved earlier from the box. Also, don't forget to take advantage of the armor machine right inside a spawn if you ever need it. Alright, so now we're up to step 23, which is the final step of the easter egg. Once you've gotten the battery to spawn, shoot and down the panzer mortar within a close proximity of the battery. Pick it up and run up to the panzer mortar as the battery is in your hand and press square to attach it to him. If done fast enough, you should be rewarded with the max ammo. Note that if you do indeed have extra jack in the boxes left, throw one right before you down the panzer mortar, this way the area is completely clear, so that once you go to attach the battery to him, it will be significantly easier. Also remember, you only have 2-3 to three seconds to attach the battery to him while he's down, so make sure you do down him very close to the battery, otherwise you'll have to down him again. Just note, after actually attaching the battery to him, he'll leave the map temporarily, it's not glitched, just survive and you'll be able to continue on. Basically, all you have to do is just rinse and repeat the process three times, shooting down the generators to collect souls and obtain a battery. Down the panzer mortar by the battery, attach it to him, and after the third completion, you'll get a cutscene, officially completing the easter egg and awarding you with the fireworks trophy. Congratulations, you're now done. Alright, so hopefully this tutorial was a huge help to anyone struggling. If it was, definitely drop it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe this way you don't miss the latest Call of Duty, World War II, Nazi Zombies videos, tutorials, streams, and more. And I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.